friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and we're going out to the van. Ooh, I'm about to drop ya. Oh, gosh. I don't know what time it is in the morning. It's early. Oh, I was looking for my phone, but you guys are on my phone. It's like not even 9 o'clock in the morning. Ooh, I woke up in a bad mood today. Let me just see if that's going to blast. off yeah it's eight uh eight thirty yeah i had envisioned of going to bed last night and i didn't go to bed late like 10 o'clock ish and sleeping in this morning first day of march break i'll sleep in till nine o'clock and get up without having to stress about um <sighs> stress about lunches and crap like that quarter after seven Maze comes in the bed, wanting to get up. Mazai comes to the door. Mally's up, thumping and bumping. Misha's still upstairs sleeping. And I wanted to drop the F-bomb. Not to them, but I was like, ooh, Nelly. I want a March break too. And any other time of the week, I have to go and shake those guys to get out of bed. Just about drag them out of bed sometimes. And they hoot and holler about getting up in the morning. And first day of March break, they want to get up and do stuff. And of course, Mazaya and Mally wanted to play on their tablets smack dab first thing in the morning. I said, you're not doing that right now. You're not going to be on your tablets or the electronics at 7.30 in the morning until you go to bed tonight. Like, that's not, not acceptable. If they go on them, like... During the week, it's usually when they get home from school for a little bit. But they're not going to sit there like bumps on a log. I'm just venting, guys. I'm venting. You're not going to sit there like bumps on a log, staring at screens from 7.30 until 9 o'clock at night. Stop for eating. Not happening. Not happening. So they were not too pleased with that. And I was not too pleased with getting up. I didn't say anything, but my husband was already downstairs. And he could tell. <laughs> He's like, I didn't do anything. I said, I know you didn't do anything. I'm just in a bad mood. <laughs> Anyways, I'm okay now. I, the first thing I did, I didn't even have my vinegar this morning. I went straight for the coffee. Emptied the dishwasher while my coffee was brewing, so that's something. And I rotated laundry from the washer to the dryer that I turned on last night. And hung up towels, so that's something. But I'm on my way into town. I want to pick up something easy for lunch or supper. Um, I'm going to pick up some gloves for my sister-in-law. I had sent her a picture the other day, yesterday. I took a picture of them from the local Big W. And she was going to go check it in her area. But they're sold out there. And I said, oh, I should have just picked them up yesterday for her. You know, um, like those disposable gloves. Anyways, I'm going to go in to see if they're still here. Because she wanted some. And uh, I need to go to the dollar store. And I'll probably stop to Superstore just because. Just to have a little March break time for just me. I'm not driving kids. I'm not dropping kids. Boy, I'm on a tangent this morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But just got to be that way. Got to be that way. So, anyways, I'm just driving. It's a cold, cool day outside. But it's not raining. It's nice out cloudy but it's the roads dry so that's good oh, so my husband was home cooking up some uh, sausages seems like we're eating a lot of sausages lately but some breakfast sausages he's like can you pick up some eggs and bacon I said yep you know I grabbed his card <laughs> I said I'm not going on a shopping spree he's like no my wallet's right there I was like yeah I just need to I just need to so anyways I'm just being a complainer, big old whiny baby, but it's just that kind of a morning. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll be back in a little bit when we make our first uh, first stop. All right, I made it to the big W. Um, usually I'd go all the way into town and do work my way out, but I just want to stop here just in case there's only a couple of those boxes left of those gloves and get them first, and then I can just take my time. So we'll go in and see. 
Oh, I forgot to show you yesterday. They had this card sanitation station set up here. So I'm going to spray it, wipe it, and do my hands. All right, it's around the cleaning section. I just picked her up two of those latex-free, powder-free. Those are the ones she wanted. There's other ones here. But I got her two boxes. And yeah, we're good. Well, I might as well go to Superstore while I'm here. Then I'll spin into the dollar store real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm doing everything ours backwards today. Well, yeah, it's hit this store too. No more toilet paper. Walmart had a couple of things left there, but yeah, this was, I guess, refilled yesterday. And yeah, all gone. I see it will. Oh, that's paper towel. There's some paper towel down here. So worst comes to worst. You can use Kleenex, paper towels, or napkins. Alright, so I'm picking up a few things. Not a whole lot of, like, 50% off stuff that's going on, but that's okay. I got stuff. I did get two packs of chicken wings, like those chicken pre-made wings. That's from the deli, 50% off, so. But I'll show you what I got when I get home. Um, I was just talking to my friend Marlene. She's my dad's neighbor. Uh, just lives up across the field. And she, uh... Yeah, we had a nice yarn, so anyways, I'm almost done here, and then I'll spin into the dollar store, and then we'll head home. Oh, I'll probably stop and get my husband some morning, my husband some uh, coffee. He said, are you going to get coffees? I said, yeah, probably, if you want me to. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Made it to the Dollarama. I need to go in and pick up a couple things, and then I'll stop and get coffees. I might even get myself one, even though I had a coffee this morning. We'll see. And then we'll be home. I'm feeling much better now. I think I just had to blow off the stank off me or something like that. I woke up in a cloud of frustration, I guess. But we'll go see. <coughs> oh, I made it out of the dollar store. I picked up a few things. <coughs> I picked up three, like, little styrofoam kind of surfboards. They only had three there. They'd be perfect for Maze and Misha and probably Mazaya. They only had three. They were four bucks each. It's not that time of year, but I won't have to blow up stinking air mattresses at the lake if, well, <laughs> if the world is right <laughs> come summertime. But yeah, I took the only three that were there just because you never know at the dollar store if they get more stuff in or not. And, uh, yeah, they'd probably be too small for Mally, but she could use it. I mean, she could use it. It's just... Anyways, that was a splurge I wasn't expecting. <laughs> but I grabbed it while I could grab it. But I'm just in the lineup for Tim Hortons now. And then we're heading home. It is 9.58 in the morning, so I've been in town, I don't know, an hour and a half. Didn't feel rushed or anything. I'm thinking I would like to stop to Sobeys, but I'm tired and I want to go home. Um, I want to buy some egg replacer, like for baking. If we don't have eggs, we can still... I think you can still... You, you can use applesauce. I've heard somebody say you can replace eggs with applesauce in baking. Is that true? Do you guys know? Anyways, I probably won't stop to Sobeys now because I've been in and out of... Well, only three stores. I'm being a baby, but... Yeah... I'll just get this coffee and then head home. And by the time I get there, they'll probably be hungry again. Misha will probably be up. I don't mind the kids getting up before I do, but just coming and um, waking me up and, you know, my husband was up. Not that he knew what was going on, but yeah, I was just not, my morning didn't go as I thought it would, but I'm feeling okay now. Everything's good got food, we got heat, we got a house to live in, we got shoes on our feet. I shouldn't be complaining at all. So I just need to remind myself that sometimes. So anyways, I'll be back, get this Joe and head home. All right guys, it's 10.30 just about. What I got at Superstore, I got a thin crust Hawaiian pizza. I got two cans of the tomato slow baked beans three cans of the beans with maple syrup. They were five for six dollars, just just to have. Got two of these, these were the only two they had, so this will either be for lunch or snacks or whatever the heck. I got one thing of bacon, honey, and sea salt. 
adding to my medical supplies, eardrops, uh, or a gel like toothache medicine, and some kanka um, just to have for cold sores and stuff. Uh, I got some celery 50% off because the kids love celery. I got a second pizza, pepperoni, because this will be for lunch or supper. Like I said, I want to do something easy. I did get a box of Cheerios too, and they already just got into it, which is up on the shelf. Um, just a club size ranch dressing to have. And I bought uh, another thing of wipes just to have. Just in case there's a shortage or whatever. And we will end up using those for sure. That's what I got at Superstore. So I'll put this away and I'll get out um, the stuff from the dollar store in Walmart. Alright, what I got at the dollar store was I got a pair of headphones for the downstairs computer. Uh, just because it doesn't have speakers and it needed some more headphones like kid size ones. I got these earbuds um, just for extra ones here at the house. I got five things of El Fagetti because easy lunch or whatever we don't have it all the time but something just to have. I bought these big fat smoothie straws. They're perfect for smoothies because they're a little thicker than water and juice and stuff. $1.25 um, I've seen this, Magic Cool, the ultimate cooling bandana. You wet it, and I guess it stays cool for hours, apparently. We'll see. But, um, yeah, and you can wash it. So if somebody gets sick, they want a cool rag, we'll try that. Um, I got some sliced pineapple. The kids love pineapple. I bought a water bottle, like spray bottle, because if I want to make up a bleach water solution to disinfect things from viruses and etc. I can use that. I bought this kind of mustard. Don't know if we've had that before, but it was $1.25. Can't have too much mustard. Um, I bought me some more tights. Um, they don't have just plain color ones. These have little sparkles in them, but he wears tights because he has eczema and he takes his socks off and scratches. If he has tights, he doesn't do that. And these ones have little polka dots and stripes, but that's what you got to do what you got to do. Oh, I bought, let me just see here, one, two, three things of just extra toothbrushes because it doesn't hurt to have extra toothbrushes on hand. I bought this tub. Um, I heard if it gets real bad around here for any kind of sickness or world events, if you know what I'm saying, when people come in the house, you could have a water bleach solution just at the bottom of a basin and you could dip your the bottoms of your shoes in them I'm thinking that's what I would use that for crazy I don't know but I got a basin adding to my medical supplies this is like Vicks Vapor Rub um, I smelled it. it smells just like it so I'm gonna put that with it two things of mild sensitive skin Jergens soap and I bought some plastic um, spoons and forks I'm thinking if anybody gets sick they can just use these and they can go go away. I got another thing of pineapples and peach halves and some Aunt Jemima's pancake syrup. So that's what I got. Oh, I forgot to say I got two packs of bacon at Walmart. Those are cheaper than Superstore. But anyways, two and I got those boxes of gloves I left out in the van um, so they can be delivered to my sister-in-law. All right, friends, I haven't checked in in a while. It's five after three. I have been busy. I cleaned out here. I need to clear off this table, but I vacuumed out here. I spot mopped the floor. Uh, I vacuumed out here. It doesn't look fan like one of those fancy mummy houses, but yeah, you guys know my struggle. You know my struggle, but I did vacuum and spot mop all the wood, moved all that stuff, all that stuff. Spot mopped out here. Maze is chilling like a villain. The pillows were not on the floor earlier, but they are now, but that's what happens. The girls are upstairs playing. Let me turn you around. Yeah, Mally and Mazai are upstairs playing. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> Misha's gone to a birthday party. Totally forgot she had a birthday party. Happy birthday, Malcolm. Uh, birthday party today at the bowling alley. So my husband dropped her off, and it, he was going down to his mom's for fish today because he can't cook fish here because we're allergic. And then I have to go pick her up for 3.30. So it's 5 after 3. I'm going to start heading out of here shortly. Marquise is still here. 
I guess a lady friend of his is coming over, so that's nice. Um, and I think I'm going to make those frozen pizzas for supper. That's what I'm doing. When I get back, I'm going to do the tables, like the dining room table, the kitchen table. I spot mop the kitchen, too, when I have the dishwasher going and the washing going. Of course, of course I got the washing going. But, yeah, I'm feeling accomplished. Oh, and I deep cleaned the downstairs bathroom and the upstairs bathroom. I was just on a tangent. I, I really was. I was just like, whew, I need to just power through this stuff, clear my energy, clear my, whew, you know what I'm saying. And that's what I did. And now I'm back with you guys. <laughs> you guys don't want to see me when I'm in that kind of a state. You do not. <laughs> At least everybody knows around here. When I'm in that kind of state, stay the high heck away from me because I will plow anybody over. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. So anyways, it smells like cleaner. <laughs> smells like bleach. I know it, that is not healthy, but I'm in that kind of like mind frame. Mm. I want to get down to the nitty gritty and do even more in detail stuff, but I can't do more in detail stuff until I get the basic stuff done. But yeah, my husband has the fire going. He's gone though. Um, yeah, I'm going to spin into Tam 308. I'll pick Misha up and then we'll head home and then I'll finish off my, my stuff. But yeah, I just went around with spot, I say spot mopping. It was the or see that 50% off sticker. I've had this for a little while. It's bathroom cleaner with bleach, uh, mildew stain remover. <laughs> I sprayed any spots on my kitchen floor. I didn't do that on the wood floor. I didn't know if it would hurt, so I just used hot water and vinegar. I don't know. Um, but I did that in the bathroom too. And if I get a chance to actually mop tonight, like do the whole floor, I will. But at least any spots that I have are done. And I vacuumed in here and I swept in here in the other places. Um, yeah, I was just like, ooh, yeah, I don't know what came over me, but I did it. I did it. But the dishwasher's going, and yeah, I need to get my shades, and we're going to hit the road toad. All right, guys, I'm heading out the door. Mally and Mazaya are coming out to play. But Marquise is here. I said, recognize, Maze will want to go out, so if he sees you. Marquise is in there with Maze. Oh, I need to get my bag. All right, Maze just went out. I told the girls, you keep an eye on him. He comes in when you come in. So, I don't know, they're down back somewhere. So anyways, we'll go get Misha. Oh, it's kind of windy. Um, we have a fire going, but it's not that cold out. But it was chilly in the house this morning. So, I don't know. I won't stalk it and let it like a roaring fire or anything. Just enough to keep the chill off. All right, we made it to the bowling alley. See how Misha made out at the uh, birthday party. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It really is. It's the kind of day you don't even need to zip up your jacket. Oh, there they are. just got home. It's four o'clock. I'm going to get these going because the kids are hungry. Misha's out there sharing her treat bag that she got from the party with Mays. They're all inside now when I got home. Uh, Mally and Mazaya are upstairs. Marquise is upstairs, but I'm going to get these going. Uh, well, you've seen them this morning, Hawaiian and pepperoni. So yeah, let's open them up and pop them in and then I'll do the tables. 
All right, they're all baked. I'm going to slice and dice and deliver. Perfect, perfect. Well, Misha helped me do the steps. Yeah, I am on a spree. Oh, there's a piece of candy or something stuck there. She's trying to get it off for me. But I sprayed it with my stuff, or she sprayed it with her stuff, and I sprayed it with my stuff. Well, she did it with her. Yeah, but so heavy-duty stuff and milder stuff, if you know what I'm saying, just to get the steps all done. And, yeah, there's this one little spot. Misha's working at it for me. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. It is 8.55 in the morning. Evie just got here. He's not feeling too hot. His nose is all red and his eyes are all red. He was here last night and uh, he went home last night too, but I had given him some like children's Tylenol last night. I just gave him some now. So he's cuddled up on the couch with the blanket watching shows with Maze. But Messiah's up, but everybody else is still sleeping. My husband, Misha, Mally, everybody's still dreamland. I got up and had my coffee this morning. And I've been cleaning a bit, like disinfecting with like the hardcore cleaner <laughs> again. I really want to do my kitchen, like take everything off my counters, do the windowsill, clear that bench over there, over there, clear it all. Um, I'm just feeling like I want to get all the nooks and crannies and stuff. But anyways, yeah, I didn't get the video up yesterday. I went to bed probably 9.30 last night. I was tired. I was tired, but I had spent a lot of energy doing what I was doing yesterday. I want to get in the shower, too. But I'll wait till Evie goes to sleep or something or my husband's up. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, we're going to get some stuff done. Um, I just brought out, I have a monster pile of laundry. That'll be my goal today to fold all that laundry and I think dad's coming out for a visit today which will be nice he didn't come out yesterday yesterday like he usually does just because <clears throat> like Misha had been gone and yeah just an off day he was busy painting upstairs and stuff so he said he'd come out today so that'll be nice but yeah let's go take a look at that giant heap of laundry it's humongous it is all right, I have been cleaning. I gotta clear this table off again, but yeah. Look at that. Can you see how big that is? Shameful, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge, huge. I think I have two face cloths left. I got to get this done. And my green uh, cleaning cloths, I'm on my last one. The rest are in here. <laughs> so I gotta get it. I drew this blind shut just because Evie's out there on the far end of the couch. And Maze is right there. He's commanding the starship of the TV. And uh, yeah, anyways, that's what's going down. So yeah, I might try to tackle this bad boy and the kids can clear it up and then I can vacuum again today. I did vacuum yesterday, so there's not a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna be. I'm trying to get into the mode of being a perfect housekeeper. <laughs> no, not really a perfect housekeeper, but one that can hold it together. Just in times like this, I want to get everything all done and then do like a daily, I want to write it out, a daily wipe down list. Like I wipe down stuff and then I disinfect stuff. Yeah, I don't know. In my mind I'm not gonna be one of those obsessive compulsive cleaners like off of the shows and stuff but I just want to try to be more on the ball <laughs> so yeah let's get that done mm -mm -mm. I'm done that's all mismatched socks I'm gonna see maybe I can do it today there's a stinky pants boy over there but that was a lot of laundry for that <laughs> God. yeah I got my jammy pants on still but it's that kind of a day all right friends well almost all that laundry is put away but I brought up one of the pairs and I grabbed this from upstairs my son did his room the other day and wowzer dowser look at all the stuff that's from all downstairs so I'm gonna take this off 
and throw it in the wash with a load I'm about to put on. Hip hip hooray. Alright friends, Mace and Evie are playing. I just put new batteries in his remote control car he got for Christmas. I did sort through those socks, so this is the leftovers. But, you know, there is a shortage on toilet paper, so hey. <laughs> Anyways, what I've decided to start doing is the piano. I'm going to take all the stuff down, wipe it real good. Um, yeah, just get it arranged better. That's where that remote control car was up there. I put batteries in it. I'm like, I might as well do the whole piano. Why not? So this is the before. Did it? Oh, geez. Well, while I was cleaning, I'm not, not, not done yet, but my husband out here cooked uh, some bacon and eggs. So this is what the kids' lunch is going to be. Two to three pieces of bacon, some scrambled eggs, and a slice of toast. Perfect. All right. I wiped everything all down. A seat in the side. Maze, pull your pants up. I can see your cheeks. But, yeah, I don't know if I showed you this. My sister-in-law, Julie, made this for me for a Christmas present. It's an old, like, window frame. And she put Nova Scotia Living so I can, and little clothespins, so I can hang cards and things on there. So, yeah, that's what that's from. But, yeah, it's all wiped down. Smells of cleaner. Him and uh, Evie are just running around playing, but that's one more thing off my list. Alright friends, it is 12 after 2. I just got out of the shower a few minutes ago. My face is all red and shiny because I put cream on, but I feel a hundred times better. I really do. Um, I laid Evie down for a nap and then uh, Maze came in and told me, Papa's here, so I ninja myself out of the bedroom. Evie's still snoozing upstairs. Had a visit with Dad, and then when Dad left, I jumped in the shower because I needed the shower. Yeah, Misha and Maze are outside playing. Mally and Maziah are upstairs playing. Um, I'm going to go to town after Medea comes to get Evie. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for supper. My husband got a couple packs of raw hamburger from the store yesterday. I can make hamburgers. I just pick up some buns and a bag of french fries and do that. I could do that. I mean, I have rinky-dink stuff, garbagey stuff like craft dinner and stuff. <laughs> it's tasty, but whatever. <laughs> but just to go in and uh, pick up a couple things, use up a couple packs of that hamburger, and we'll be good. My husband just started a fire. And of course, when dad comes out, he brings a bag of treats. Silly dad. Little candies. He only brings, does this once a week. He's like, if you don't want me to bring treats, I won't, Trace. You just make me a list of stuff. I'm like, I don't mind, Dad, because I don't give the kids that stuff every day of the week. I really don't. It's just from the DS, and the kids enjoy a box of these. Now, I eat this whole thing. I love myself some chocolate. Bag of cheesies. He always gets them a bag of mini marshmallows. Else did he get? Uh, some puddings, chocolate puddings, some microwave popcorn. Can't go wrong with that. And oh, some little Kit Kat bars. He also brought Mays out a new shirt. He got it Frenchies for him and a bag of a couple of shirts or something for Evie and some little kid storybooks for Evie. I'll send them home with him when he goes. He's like, I haven't found any more roller skates because I put a little bug in his ear. I'm like, if you ever see roller skates at Frenchie's, pick them up and I'll pay you. <laughs> Just because the kids still get such a kick out of those ones I got at Frenchie's, I don't know, probably a month ago, three weeks ago. They just, they're too big for them. They're my size, so I take six and a half, seven. But they play with them. I'm like, if I could get another couple of pairs, I would. I tried to order some off of Amazon, but they didn't. They said they arrived, but they never arrived. So I contacted Amazon. I'm like, where's my package? It didn't come. Anyways, they refunded me. But uh, everything that's going on now, I'm not going to order stuff for right now. <laughs> so Frenchies, it is, <laughs> if we can find them. Um, yeah, so it's 2.16. I feel so much better. I was itchy, like just crawling itchy, dried out itchy. You guys with eczema, 
I think know what I'm talking about. Just, yeah. I needed the shower and it was a nice long shower. Creamed up top to tail. Fresh clothes. Hair slicked back like I'm a gangsta. And yeah, we'll go to town here in a little while. But just wanted to check in and let you know what's going on. I, I feel really good about what I've been doing the past couple of days. It doesn't look like I've done a whole lot. But just wiping down stuff, getting the cobwebs from around the ceiling. Like, I just, it's stuff I don't ever think to do on a regular basis. And I took that thing off and it's in the washer now. Um, I need to rotate that and put it in the dryer. And I'm changing the bedding on my bed. And I want to clean my room. And I did the steps yesterday. And I really want to clear. Like, I, I wipe off my counters every day, but I want to take the microwave, the toaster, Cornelius, the coffee maker, the espresso maker, the knife block, all off, put it on the table, and totally give everything a down, deep down clean, and then a deep down disinfect. That's what I, I want to do. But I have some jars here on the table, under that towel, and I left them there. They're clean, but I think I might pack them down in the basement. I don't know. Um, or put them in out in the laundry room because I want to get some other stuff done before I can again unless I see a really good deal at something at the store uh, I'm not going to go spend a fortune on something just so I can can it because I feel like canning no, I want to pick something up because it's a steal of a deal and I don't have room in my pantry or my freezer or my fridge or I just want it for later use then I'll can it or dehydrate it or vacuum seal it or whatever so but now I'm having that bug of trying to declutter, de-disinfect, and really get it. It would be so cool to be a minimalist, but there's no way in my life I will ever be a minimalist. <laughs> I try. I'm better than I used to be as a kid, but, you know, with this many people in my house, maybe when my kids are older, but then I'm going to have all my grandbabies here. And, yeah, I don't think I'll ever be a minimalist. But I like the idea of it, so I aspire to it. I try to do it to the best of my ability and still have a comfy, cozy, messy, but clean house. <laughs> so anyways, I'll be back in a little while. The kids were just out there trying to climb that tree stump. Misha was halfway up there. having fun just bumbling around outside. Guys, I've been busy. I cleared off the table as much as I could. I wiped off that windowsill. It was all cluttered full of crap. Cleaned the sink. I didn't take everything off the counter, but I wiped the counter and disinfected what I the surfaces anyways. Swept the floor. Hi. So tomorrow if I get a chance I'm gonna pull everything off and do a real good deep clean kind of thing. But I'm feeling good about that. But right now we're heading to town. Yeah. It's 13 after 3, Evie's still snoozing, so Mally's upstairs on the computer. I said, listen for, listen for Evie. I'm just spinning in to get some burger buns and a bag of fries. And I don't know, whatever. I won't be long. Medea's off work now, but she was spinning to town too to get a futon or something. I don't know. But she was, wasn't going to dilly-dally. She said she'd be right out. So I thought I'll go now. I'm done that cleaning just to get out of the house for a minute. I'll listen to the stand while I drive it in. And I'll come back and make supper. I'll just use my George Foreman grill because it's super easy and quick. Throw some fries in the oven. Bob's your uncle. Bessie's your aunt. So yeah, let's hit the road toad. All right, I made it to Superstore. It seems pretty busy. Um, I heard today there's um, three presumptive cases that people might have what's going on in the world. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's the reason <laughs> why there's lots of people at the grocery store, but we'll go in and take a gander. All right, well, I just passed the vegetable section. There's lots of people over there, so I didn't bring you, but there's a lot of vegetables gone. And I'm not seeing any 50% off stuff. So... Yeah, it's, it's really quite busy in here compared to on a Sunday afternoon. I mean, but there's some 50% stuff off here. I just got a bag of 
hamburger buns. But yeah, we'll see. Things there. Oh, there's a little bit, but that's ridiculous. Regular $12.93, that little tiny thing. Even 50% off. I don't think so. <clears throat> There's some chicken. $4.15. That's pretty good. Maybe I'll grab a couple packs of that. Oh, there's two packs of bacon. 50% off. That's pretty good. Those chicken nuggets. I would get a box, but they're not on sale now. I got them last week for $4.44. They're back up to $8.99. No thanks. Yeah. I want to get some french fries. <clears throat> we'll check out the, I'm sure all the toilet paper's gone. I don't need any, but just interesting. But there is still quite a bit of paper towel. I mean, I'm going to grab a couple things of water too, just because. Two for five bucks. Well, they're on for three for six ninety nine. dollars I'm going to get the ones with the crispy skin on. I mean, they're not out, but you can, you can tell there's a lot of stuff that's going. Like the milk, there's still lots there, but there's gaps. Lots of pizzas and stuff, of course. <clears throat> but maybe I should have got a bigger cart. I'll just go down here and see what we can find. Here's those shopping carts, but we'll see. Yeah, there's the TP aisle. But still, there's lots of Kleenex and paper towels, so. I mean, worse comes to worse. You can use a leaf, for goodness sakes, or get a spray squirt bottle and do like one of those boudets, or is that what they're called? Is that what it's for? I don't really know what a boudet's for. I thought it was for washing your undercarriage. But, yeah. Yeah, you'd think that the, there's Christmas tomorrow or something like that. There's quite a quite a lot of people. And I didn't park right close. I'm over there, so. Burp. <clears throat> but I've got a cart full of stuff. And it's a beautiful day. So we'll go home and make supper. And life will keep on going. Oh, there's dogs talking to one another. Barking back and forth across the parking lot. It's funny. Yeah. It's an old chat fest around here. There's three or four different dogs. <laughs> oh, all right. What time is it? It's probably not too late. Three thirty or something. Quarter to four. Oh. Come on. It's 3.55. So, yeah, almost 4 o'clock. I'll go home, throw those fries in the oven, get the burgers on the grill, and stuff will be done by 5 o'clock. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm home now. It's 8 after 4. I'm going to get the fries in and the grill out, and then I'll show you what I got at the store. Here's the hamburger my husband got. They're not great. They're like medium packs, not uh, not big packs. So I'm going to do them both up. Mom was 5.42, 5.59. And, yeah, I'm going to grab my gloves. All right, I got the first six on there. And I got these ones to do. So, yeah, oh, I should have seen uh, how long. Four to eight minutes. So, yeah, I'll set the timer for six minutes and check them then. All right, what I got at the grocery store was two packs of that chicken, 402 and 453. We'll probably have that tomorrow. Two packs of that bacon. There was only two with 50% off stickers, so those will either go in the freezer or in the fridge and we'll cook them this week. And there are no added antibiotics or hormones or anything, so I don't know if that's classified as organic or what, but yeah. I got a box of the President's Choice cornflakes and Rice Krispies, the burger buns for tonight. I got three bags of fries, but I'm cooking one now. Well, three quarters of one. I put the other little bit left in the freezer. I bought um, four chili seasoning mixes and 
three taco seasoning mixes because we could use that. I bought one thing of pasta. I know I got pasta down in the basement, but I just got one. It was on sale, $1.49 for a big bag. And to add to my medical supplies, this is like the Benadryl tablets for adults. Um, we use that sometimes. I use that sometimes if I get real itchy and stuff. Um, two things of sugar. I guess they were out yesterday, so they must have just got it in overnight. They were for two for four dollars, I think. I got a big box of just plain waffles and two boxes of saltines or soda crackers. Yeah, and that's what I got. And the no, the hamburger I didn't get. <laughs> My husband got that yesterday. So, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, there's the burgers. There's the fries. There's the fixins. There's the buns and the plates. So I'm going to load them up. All right, just simple plates. This one's Evie's. I didn't put it in a bun because he'll just take it apart and throw it on the floor. So there we have it. All right, guys. Well, it's 20 after 5. Medea was going to come here to get Evie, but she picked up a futon and it's taken up all the space in her car. So I said I'll bring him over. But um, we just got word. My husband got an email and there was an, an announcement from our premier, Stephen McNeil, um, from the school board and everything. But school's going to be closed another two weeks after March break. So they're going to have like a three week. March break just so anybody that might be traveling over March break in or out of province or country um, yeah we'll be able to uh, be safe so it's pretty much lockdown kind of thing <laughs> daycares I think probably universities all schools nursing home facilities are all closed to visitors yeah it's getting heavy. It's getting heavy. So, anyways, I'm just bringing Evie over. The kids have all filled their gullet, and yeah, I'll uh, I'll be back. All right, we got to Medea. She's not here yet, but she should be here soon. Oh, there's one of the kitties. We'll just go in and hang out till they get here. They're back. This is Medea's new car. Isn't it cool? Fancy. So, I just had a little visit. And I think she's selling her other car there so she'll get a little money back on that so that'll be good now we'll go home and see what the rest of the circus is doing all right friends well I'm gonna end this video now it is two after eight and we had a good day today I'm feeling accomplished though it doesn't look like I did a darn thing in the house I did in my mind I know I know what I did I know what I did and, uh, yeah, I hope Effie's feeling better tomorrow. Um, yeah, daycares and everything are closed down, so if Medea is still working, he'll be coming here, which is fine. But we, her and I had a hash out, like, yeah, if it's locked down, it's locked down kind of thing. Don't have people over, don't go any place, or, well, it's not really locked down, it's just be cautious, be careful, you know what I mean? And Effie won't be going to other people's houses or anything going from her house to our house to our house to her house and that sort of thing and uh yeah so we'll see we'll see but then again maybe her job will be affected by everything that's going on because people aren't going to be moving she works at home for a moving company like she does over the internet telephone video moving company and stuff oh just a minute guys all right Anyway, so life's going to be a little more upside down with my regular routine. I won't have to do... Get going. Get going. I won't have to do the school runs. I mean, I knew this week I wouldn't have to anyways. Misha Lee Rose. Go or you're not going to have popcorn. She wanted to come up and ask if she could have some of that microwave popcorn. I said yes, but you've got to make enough for everybody. <laughs> Because that's not something you can sneak. Everybody will smell that once that starts popping and stuff. But yeah, life is uh, going to be thrown for a loop. I'm not super worried about the actual sickness that's going around. I mean, it's serious. It is. But 
I don't know how much to talk about it on my channel, to be honest. I prepared for longer than I've told you guys I've been preparing for. I've been following it since the beginning, and I've gotten stuff that you might think I'm insane for getting, but not crazy expensive gadgets or anything, but if we have to totally seal and duct tape every window, uh, crack and crevice of this house, I'm going to do it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think it'll get to that point. Um, I'm just, I want to be prepared for the after effects, the economic things that might come from what's going on in the world, the shortages, the financial hardship for people, for us, for everybody. You know what I mean? I'm just thinking Marquise is supposed to graduate this this year. What's going to happen with school? That's two more weeks. Are they going to extend it into the summer? And how are you going to get teenagers to stay in school in the middle of July, to be honest? It's not the end of the world, but there's going to be a lot of adjustments that need to be made. And the kids, you know what I mean? They're kids. If I knew what their curriculum was, I, it just it dings on me. Yeah, there's parents that homeschool, and kudos to you guys. I don't know if I could do it, but in times like this, <laughs> there's no struggle. Well, I'm sure there's other struggles I'm not thinking of, but that's not the biggest hiccup. That's a hiccup for these guys. It's not the time of year where you have a big break. You have a break, but then you go back, and then you look forward to the end of school year. But now are they going to have a shorter summer? I don't know. I don't know. So... Anyways, and then all the parents, if all the daycares are closed, the parents that might still have to work have to look for childcare arrangements. And if you're supposed to be safe, how safe can that be? And it might 99% of the time be safe, but you don't know. You don't know. So I'm feeling for a lot of people out there. I'm feeling for myself. I'm feeling for my family, my friends, my neighbors, my relatives all across the country, all across the world. What? The will turn oh, I unplugged it. I plugged the grill in. Just plug it back in. Where's that plug? It's attached to the microwave. Well, where's the microwave? Go find the plug that goes. It has three little pokers that poke in. I know. All plugs do. No, not all plugs don't. But you just need to plug it in. Okay? Sure. So anyways, there's a lot to consider, a lot to consider, but in the grand scheme of things, we're fortunate. Many people are fortunate. There's many, many people in the world that are not quite as fortunate as the people that I know that we are, that many, many people, Canadians in general, people are forced to face challenges in their life that you and I can't even comprehend. So I'm just reminding myself to recognize, to cherish what we have, take care of what we have, take care of the ones that we can take care of, whether that's my neighbor Sarita, my dad, my extended family. What's up? No. <laughs> that's Mally coming out. Just finished my video. Yeah, yeah, I'm jabbering. I'm getting on to a tangent, I guess. But anyways, we'll have a deeper conversation about this at some point. But, yeah, lots to roll around in my mind. i got to think about it so I can say it properly. Otherwise, I just go in circles. I go in circles. But yesterday and today were good days. I do plan on trying to accomplish my kitchen tomorrow. And I really, really, really want to get my medicine cabinet. I know I've been talking about that for a couple of weeks. I still haven't done it. But once my kitchen's done... I can take everything out of my medicine cabinet and put it on the kitchen table and put it in my tubs and label it and get it back in my cabinet. And, yeah, I'll feel good. I'll show you my, well, there's nothing to show, really. The cleaning supply shelf that I have in my laundry room. <laughs> Bunch of wipes and Javex or bleach and sprays and stuff, but nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Anyways, guys, yeah, I want to get this up now. I can unload my phone. It's 10 after, 10 after, um, 8 now. And I want to have a good evening with my husband. And, yeah, I plan on popping back tomorrow. So if you want to hang out with me and my craziness, come on back. You're more than welcome. You are.
You are. So, all right, guys, with that, I'll say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you. Yes, I do. I really, really, honest and truly do. Yes, I do. My goodness, I'm getting a whole bunch of messages. <laughs> Medea is messaging me. My brother's messaging me. My sister-in-law's messaging me. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, everything's going upside down. So, with that, I'll say have a good night. Or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.